Hey, it's Dave from Somerville Media Center with some November listings for this month's Some Arts. As always, to feature your event, send an email to programming at somervillemedia.org. Let's get to it. November is National Novel Writing Month. Somerville Central Public Library is offering open writing sessions for adults looking for the perfect place to write. Meet with other writers while taking advantage of SPL free Wi-Fi, power outlets, comfy chairs, and a large whiteboard. Outside food and drink are permitted. National Novel Writing Month, NaNoWriMo, is a fun, seat-of-your-pants approach to creative writing. On November 1st, participants begin working toward the goal of writing a 50,000-word novel by 11.59 p.m. on November 30th. Valuing enthusiasm, determination, and a deadline, NaNoWriMo is for anyone who has ever thought about writing a novel. Subsequent write-ins will be offered on all Tuesdays in November. For more information, visit SomervillePublicLibrary.org. The Boston Jewish Film Festival runs from November 8th through 20th, and it celebrates the richness of the Jewish experience through film and media. Throughout the year, the festival engages and inspires the community to explore the full spectrum of Jewish life, values, and culture. The Boston Jewish Film Festival was founded in 1989 by filmmaker Michal Goldman. And today, the festival has become a destination for the community to get together and talk about international award-winning films on Jewish topics and themes. Screening venues are throughout the Boston area and include the Somerville Theater. For full festival information, visit bjff.org. Ever wonder how popular music is made and how you can create your own beats to walk to? Music Production 101 with DJ Mac teaches teens the fundamentals of creating their own sounds using various drum machines. Teens will do sound experiments with a microphone, be exposed to different kinds of music, take a nature walk for live field recordings for sampling and their own creative beats, and much more. DJ Mac's music program is a breath of fresh air for creative minds. Music Production 101 takes place Thursday, November 9th from 3 to 4 p.m. at the Central Library. For more information, visit SomervillePublicLibrary.org. Brain Arts and Boston Hassel's annual celebration of the music and art underground of America and beyond, Hassel Fest 9, will take place November 10th and 11th at Once Ballroom in Somerville. The lineup include, includes musicians Dan Deacon, Shu Shu, Ed Balloon, Vicky, Isabella, Per Ubu, Sunburn Hand of the Man, Ono, Pill, and more. Anti-commercial, independent, and outsider culture is the Boston Hassel culture. Find out more about the fest at Boston, bostonhassel.com and get tickets at oncesomerville.com. Join the city of Somerville and Tufts University on Saturday, November 11th for the finale in a series of events celebrating the 175th anniversary of Somerville's separation from Charlestown. The 175th birthday soiree will be hosted in Tufts Adikman Arts Center from 7 to 9 p.m. on November 11th and will feature live music by local and university artists, food from local restaurants, and a cash bar in addition to samples of a special edition 175th birthday beer by Aeronaut Brewing Company. Attendees will also have access to the Adikman Art Gallery and its current exhibit, Chinese Myth, Folklore, and History, featuring a 74-foot mural by artist Huan Yunsheng. The Soiree, a black tie optional event, is open to anyone 18 or older. Tickets are $20 and can be purchased at somervillema.gov backslash somerville175, but quantities are limited. Tickets include past appetizers and samples of the special 175th birthday brew. Please note this event is black tie optional, as I said, and business casual minimum. Come as you prefer, but feel free to use this as a chance to wear your fanciest attire. Or if you prefer, come dressed in your favorite colonial era clothing to join the Somerville Historic Preservation Commission and Somerville High School's local history club. More information at somervillema.gov backslash somerville175. Learn Mexican cooking with Estela Calzada and the Somerville Arts Council Nibble Program on Tuesday, November 14th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. at Foundation Kitchen at 3 Washington Street. 
This one session $45 class includes a full meal. A native of Durango, Mexico, Estela Calzada will teach attendees to create a Mexican meal speaking Spanish, while full translation into English is offered. What will be made is chilies and nogada, a complex dish that hails from Puebla, Mexico, and represents the Mexican flag through its colors, as well as Mexican rice, agua de nopales, and camotes, and milados for dessert. Learn about Mexican culinary and cultural traditions. Tickets are available at somervillearts.council.org backslash nibble. Hey everyone, it's Erica from the Somerville Media Center going to continue on the wonderful uh, listing of some of the events happening in Somerville. So Fiddling Supergroup Child's Play with Irish singer Karan Casey is a who's who of fiddlers from the United States and the Celtic world. They will be celebrating over 30 years of touring by bringing their band of 14 fiddlers and nine all-star instrumentalists, dancers and singers back to the Somerville Theater. On Sunday, November 19th for two shows, 3 p.m. with a 7.30 second show. All the fiddlers and childs play perform on instruments made by violin maker Bob Childs of Cambridge. In addition to virtuosic fiddling, ranging from all Ireland and Scottish national fiddle champions to members of the Boston Symphony, Childs Play features a wide range of outstanding instrumentalists, including the exquisite voice of Karan Casey, known for her many years of touring with the Solas and her collaborations with the likes of James Taylor, Bella Fleck, and Tim O'Brien. For tickets, visit SomervilleTheater.com. The Somerville Roadrunners are proud to present the 21st annual Gobble 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 on Thanksgiving Day, November 23rd. The race is open to runners, joggers, and stroller families of all ages and abilities. No dogs, please. All proceeds will benefit Project Soup as well as Somerville Track PAC. Are you interested? Hurry up with getting your tickets. The race has sold out early since 2005. If you aren't racing, cheer on racers as they start and end in Davis Square. The full route, volunteer opportunities, and more information can be found at srr.org. The Herbstock Holiday Event is on Saturday, November 25th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Armory. This winter green market features handcrafted herbal products and gifts, live music, and educational demonstrations on herbal projects. Shop for botanical crafts, winter teas, herbal products, and natural body care items. Learn how to make useful and fun herbal projects at home when, you're, when you stop into one of our educational demonstrations. This event is free and all are welcome. More information is at herbstock.org. On Sunday, December 2nd, head over to Aeronaut Brewing Company at 7 p.m. for Phoenix Parlor Series, The Soldier's Tale. is scored for an unusual septet of instruments and three actors. Boston-based orchestra group Phoenix is partnering with Aeronaut Brewing Company's Pin Drop Sessions, an evening of classical music focused drinking and revelry, where the atmosphere is so quiet you can hear a pin drop. The voices of this group will be provided by three actors, including Phoenix Music Director Michael Sigmansky. For tickets, visit phoenixorc.org. Learn everything you need to. Hold on, let me start over. Learn everything you need to get started with WordPress at WordPress 101, offered by Somerville Media Center, including installation options, choosing and customizing a theme, and uploading and maintaining content. The instructor, Andy Pyman, will cover the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, as well as explore some of the most popular plugins and discuss the basics of blogging. The two-part class offered is on December 2nd and December 9th, and the cost for these classes are um, $100 for general public and $75 for Somerville Media Center and Somerville Local First members. Whether you're just getting started on a new idea or are ready to gain more control over your website, these workshops will give you the information you need to succeed. This is a beginning level class, no coding knowledge required, though basic internet and computer skills are needed. You can register online, summervillemedia.org. And finally, holiday season is upon us, and Somerville Media Center invites the community into our studio for our annual sharing of the holiday greetings and resolutions. We understand the great value and meaning of the holiday season, and what better way but to share these meaningful messages with your family, friends, and neighbors. 
You can come into the studio and share a simple happy holidays message to your neighbors. You can record a New Year's resolutions, or you can even come in and recite a holiday-themed poem. To sign up for this session, please visit our website, esmeraldamedia.org. <laughs> Boom. So with me now in the studio is Ellen from the Somerville Public Library and DJ Mack. Um, and DJ Mack is going to be working with the Somerville Public Library for a program for Music Production 101. Is that correct? Yeah, for teens. For teens. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so how did, how did this uh, collaboration come about? Well, um, I got an email from Mac saying uh, he lived in Somerville. He wanted to do a free class for teens to give back to the community. And he had all these great ideas, and it sounded wonderful to me. Um, so we, we went back and forth a little bit. and. Um, well, I figured he should get paid for his work, so yeah, <laughs> got, got a little funding, <laughs> little funding for him. And um, you know, I all I did was book space for him, and um, another librarian made up a flyer to publicize it, and everything else is DJ Mac. Wow, that's <laughs> that's great. So the um, w what exactly is the class going to uh, entail? Well, it's four sessions. It's uh, once a week for four weeks in a row. The first session was this past Thursday. Um, and as far as the content, Mac could probably tell you more about that. Yeah, um, basically it's a lot of pressing buttons <laughs> until, you, <laughs> until you really uh, create a formula. Um, but um, it's a, just a lot of fun for our kids, adults, everyone to just come on in and really try something new musically. So that way you could feel like you know, you actually made something, something you can actually own by the end of the day and then be like, and you know, put it in your iPod and actually like, yeah, I made this, you know what I mean? And uh, I feel that everyone should at least feel, uh, you know, that they have some type of ownership after working so hard, you know, for like a good hour or so. And then you feel like, yeah, I've actually uh, made something I can actually share to other people. So that's one of the reasons I really want to like give this out to kids and adults as well. So mainly like the, uh, kids in middle school and, and in high school, I know that they just want to have something to, uh, you know, reflect their, um, just their, their nature in terms of uh, their, their culture, really, mm -hmm. and what's going on. Um, as of now, they, they, they can actually, like, hear music and then be like, yeah, I can actually make something similar to that, so. So it gives, it gives kids the, um, the opportunity to create mm -hmm. as well as express themselves. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool. So, um, how, so what what do we have in front of us here? Um, so we have two two little products here. Um, let's start with the the big the big flashy one over here. Um, I'm actually not gonna turn around. But um, what's cool about this is I can make any type of uh, pattern and pretty much synchronize them um, all together. So I may have like a kick drum, some hi hats, uh, things of that nature, and then uh, they all come pre-stocked inside of it. So uh, once I start turning it on, that's when I can, the magic starts to happen and I can show the kids how they can really uh, twist the sounds back and forth and really, uh, you know, start to make it come to life. And then uh, once they see that these sounds, uh, they're responsible for each, each sound, they start to really get into it. And then I start to drift away and yeah. then, then they start to get into it, which is pretty much my goal is to, to have them really get involved in, in this. So what we're looking at right now, this is called the uh, Korg Voca sample, and uh, like I said before, it just has at least a hundred samples in it already, um, where you know you can be able to again tweak each individual sound. Um, I, I had one particular child where he he really liked the kick drum in there. Because yeah, the speaker was actually right there in front of him, so he he just pressed <laughs> one button there and he. You know, just shocked <laughs> me. And I was like, I like that. And I was like, okay, then you, you're a kick drum person. You like kick drums, you know? So um, each each child will find, you know, they'll search through and find their particular sound. And then once they're like, I like that, you know what I mean? And then I also let them know this, this can, it's also progr programmable, meaning I can uh, take a sound from my cell phone and use an app to actually upload a brand new sound. So it could, huh. be, it could be me like burping, farting. <laughs> and, uh, sure, they love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I let them know, it, you know, it's it's uh, current within their time so they can understand like, uh, you know, how to transfer files and whatnot. So um, so they are able to, to take their files oh, yeah. as a finished thing and, and take them home and yeah. share it with other people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, I want them to feel really special in terms of, again, they, they're creating it and it's, it's them that, that's doing it. Um, 
and to the right of that we have the smallest one here which is the pocket operator and uh, there's a whole series of these but this one in particular I liked um, it's labeled the rhythm mm -hmm. and uh, basically you, you can um, and both these again are battery operated so uh, you can take them anywhere and they're portable um, and I was, I was explaining before that uh, what I really like about just the products that I have uh, for the kids is that these things are not something where you just have to stay at home and you know um, yeah and uh, not be able to go outside and enjoy um, the sounds that you have in your head because inspiration can come from anywhere you know um, just the other day I was just up in my in my house and I just heard uh, you know drips uh, from the faucet and I was like I gotta record this <laughs> I don't know why I was just like you know, uh, normally I'm just, you know, I can be very lazy, but I'm like, I need that sound, you know, yeah, and, then, and, then, yeah. and I can tweak that sound. Um, but cool. yeah, it, it gets really fun uh, for, for like sampling. But, um, but, but again, with this, it, it's portable so that I can, you know, um, it's based off of a, what is called a 12 uh, step sequencer. So once I start uh, pressing play, do you mind if I actually press this? No, go. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to put, put it close to my mic here. And so, it will have a, a consistent rhythm, and, and I can actually tweak the the speed of that rhythm. So right now it's playing at 80 BPM, which is pretty much like a hip hop style. And yeah. If I tweak it up, and now it's going to be like a. That's a little crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a drum and bass. Yeah. And I can slow it is down. Is that just one sound that you can get from that, and you mm. can like do the same thing with different ones? Yep. Yeah. So I have uh, different patterns. Uh, Let's see this this one here, and I have that. So that way you can kind of, you know. Yeah. And what it is is that this is just again this is just a rhythm uh, section. So that way you can start to layer things, which is what I'm uh, also teaching the kids is, you know, once you have that pattern, yeah, another layer, mm -hmm. yeah, another layer, you know, so on and so forth. And the, those are the things that the kids start to understand like how to actually build on certain things just like if you're if you're building a house it's like you have your first floor and mm -hmm. different layers and then now you have a full house you know what i mean so, but uh that that's pretty much like how i you know really teach is to have them understand like everything's in pieces and we're all responsible for those different pieces yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, that's such a great concept to, mm -hmm. to get into oh, yeah. kids' heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they don't realize that yeah, they're, yeah, that they're learning. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, it all yeah. makes sense yeah. now. <laughs> now, you work at the um, Self-Expression so, Center yes. in Magoon Square. Yeah. And we were talking earlier, and you teach additional classes out there, like dance. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, so I'm teaching dance there. Uh, we've been there. We've been open there for roughly about three years. Um, and the main thing there is that we just want to um, really encompass uh, self-expression, meaning from dance, uh, painting, any, anything that you feel that you can just truly express yourself uh, positively, that's what the center is there for. It's always been there. Um, as long as we can keep it up, it's always going to be there. And the more people that, that come, the stronger the place becomes. And, uh, you know, we have our open mic nights, um, DJ classes, again, our, our dance classes. Um, we have everything from Zumba to street dance. Um, and eventually, I teach kids how to spin on their heads, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> um, cool. But, you know, we, we try to make it as dynamic as possible because uh, we believe, like, you know, there's not just one form of activity that should be in one place and try to try to get many things as possible adults kids of all ages and whatnot so that's the the main gist of what, what we're about um but we do have like dance nights on thursdays 8 30 <laughs> if you want to come on by all right oh, okay. <laughs> everyone's invited you know so sounds like a future collaboration possible with yeah. the <laughs> this is the first i've heard of it and um you should definitely give us oh, yeah. some of your flyers or literature stuff to put up in oh, the definitely. teen room because that'd be yeah. a really great connection yeah yeah now as far as the uh, music production 101 class um are there slots that are still open how do should people oh, register or should no. they just drop on by yeah, there's no registration necessary you can you can drop in. Um, it's basically aimed at kids age 12 to 18, but you see flexible, yeah. some flexibility there. Um, yeah, just just come, drop in, have a good time. And how often is it? It's uh, weekly for four weeks. Um, this is the first time we've tried it, so mm. um, 
who knows, yeah. maybe it could have pop up again, but there, there's always something going on in the teen room at the library. Okay. So um, this is one of ours, uh, new, a new program, thanks to Mac. And something important that I forgot to mention when I talked about funding is where that funding came <laughs> from. It was the Friends of the Somerville Public Library who fund many of our programs and we're very grateful to them for doing that and for making this possible. Good friends to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so it's every Thursday. It's every Thursday. At in November. Three, yep. Yeah, uh, for the next three Thursdays. I, Skipping Please. Thanksgiving. Yes, yeah, skipping Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> one one <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, what are the times? Uh, 3 to 4 p.m. 3 to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. At Central Library, 79 Highland Ave. Great. Okay. Awesome. Well, um, we look forward to uh, hearing about this. And uh, thank you both for, for coming on the show today. Well, thank you thank for you. inviting us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> awesome. Duck, 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 duck,